actually got a big meeting with Phil Gillis coming up yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, we got a telephone call with my dad here in a moment. and uh, About to get him fired up. He doesn't even know about the secret podcast. No Nobody does. Nobody knows. Nobody knows about this. Let's there's, fire up I've your heard pops, some dude. people. Some people have some questions. They they can tell there's something great happening about the secret podcast, but nobody knows about it. So keep yeah, it that way. Let's let's get Phil Gillis on the line. All right, let's, let's pop him up. Boy. Hey, uh, can I get a with Shane Gillis actually? ABA Financial Solutions. Yeah, you for Shane Gillis. Yeah, I, I, we thought this was Shane's number. He's got an outstanding debt with the city of Philadelphia. We're trying to settle on. It's expired PPA. Oh, God. Okay. You know how we can get a hold of them? Yeah, it's, it's roughly about $3,400 we're trying to settle on. Outstanding parking tickets, mostly. Outstanding parking tickets for $3,400? Yeah, they, they will, you know, they kind of develop pretty quickly, and then once we take the debt over, we tack something on as a penalty and fee, so, yeah. All right, here it comes. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so bad. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so bad. <laughs> you think he's going to call you? I bet. Oh, no. Just play the waiting game. He's going to get fired up and get you, dude. Yeah, he gets he gets so mad about fucking parking tickets. <laughs> He handled that one well, though. I thought I thought he was going to stick up for me when you were like thirty four hundred dollars, and he was like for parking tickets. I know. Well, I threw that uh, interest rate stuff thing. Like, well, this is ridiculous. But he was like, All yeah. right, yeah, fuck him." Damn, dude. Maybe I should just call him. Maybe. It's awesome. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Yo, dude, some guy called for you. Some guy did call for him. All right. Like, why do you have some guy calling for you, dude? <laughs> you don't have my parking tickets for your parking tickets. Fuck. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to fuck with this old man. <laughs> I'm starting to regret this, dude. He's going to be pissed. I can't believe Chris O'Connor called your dad. Yeah. I'll call him right now. But like, hey, they called you. Sorry about that. Here it is. Is it recording? Hello? Sos. Yeah. What's going on, man? Well, some company just called me and started... That uh, their collection group and you owe them $3,400 for parking tickets. What? I thought we paid that. I thought I paid. I just paid those. Remember when I was at the house? I paid those. Yeah. Thank you. I, mean, I gave your cell phone number to talk to you. Yeah, they called me and I was wondering why you fucking sold me out. I didn't sell you out. You fucking they sold me out. They wouldn't have been able to fucking contact me. I was fine. You were fine and it was continuing to escalate. Dad, you're being a pussy about this. Come on. Hey, Shane. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Phil. Okay. No, I mean, the whole thing's fine. I was, the, the fucking phone call was fake. Really? Yeah, that was Matt McCusker. He's, he's sitting right next to me right now. He's being a dickhead, too. So you thought I was going to get all fired up at MFU and this and that? Yeah, you did pretty well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. How, oh. You recorded this now, and this is going to be go somewhere, right? No. Well, yeah, it is. What do you think about Trump winning? We didn't get to talk about that. Now that I have you on, you're our first guest. Am I? You're the first guest we've ever had on our show. Well, your fucking show's not going to last. Because <laughs> that was idiotic. Yeah, it wasn't very good. We thought you'd freak out. Now, you called me. Well, I'm up with something better. That's true. You said you had a joke for me. You called me the other day and said that you had a joke that you yeah, thought I could use in my. Timing is everything. That joke is when Trump was visiting Obama in the White House. Uh, is this gonna be racist? Absolutely. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, let's hear it. So their meeting was supposed to take place and, and last about fifteen minutes. What the? F how fucking yeah, bored are you? How fucking bored are you that you're just on this fucking show right now? <laughs> I'm on your show right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well 
yeah, maybe you should fucking chill with the racism. It's not, it's not really. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. I want to give you, because wow. people who listen to this are going to actually think you are racist, so you're not. Go ahead. Yeah. So what I was saying is Trump was supposed to meet with Obama two days after the election. Yeah. Which he did. It was supposed to last about 15 minutes. He was in there for an hour and a half. So after they talk about Obamacare and the, you know, international things and building the wall, not building the wall, immigration, things like that, Obama starts, pulls out his putter and starts putting on the carpet. And uh, he says, I understand you're into golf. Trump says, well, yeah, in fact, I own a few courses. He says, well, I'd, I'd love to play. He says, well, <laughs> Holy fuck, Dad! <laughs> no! God damn it, Phil! Oh man, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. You're gonna get eaten alive on the internet for that. Yeah, don't no, no. I have to. This is the best thing we've come up with all day. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. I'm sorry, Dad. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know you're kidding. You're the best, and uh, I'll see you this weekend. I'll be home. I'll, you can catch me and Matt McCusker at the Harrisburg Comedy Zone this weekend, this Friday and Saturday. Phil, what do you think of that? This Friday and Saturday? The oh, Harrisburg man. Comedy Zone. Let me get a large group of people together, and then you can go and say how you like to 69 with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's it. Great. That's the fucking end of this conversation. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Dad. Dang. Dag. <laughs> the old man gave you the biz. Yeah. As usual. He was not happy about that. That that ending there, that what he referenced the sixty nine part. My dad's not a fucking pervert. That was me. He was referencing a joke I did. In front of him. In front of him. Family and friends. Family and friends while bombing. I tossed out this fucking Hail Mary at the end of it about uh what would you rather do? Would you rather get shot in the head or 69 with your dad daddy o did not like that and the old man and my mom and they invited family friends the osbornes the osbornes the osbornes were there they got to watch my they got to watch their their good friend's son flounder and then toss out a joke about you know 69ing with their fucking friend well, also the threat, of, the impending threat of a gun to the head makes it all that more violent and disturbing. <laughs> it's like some weird Saul fantasy where now you got to like suck your way out of it. Yeah. And I, well, and the amplifier too is you have to... You both have to finish. Exactly. That's the horrific... That's more scarier than the gun. You both have to finish. So this could take hours. Yeah. It's hours straight of just you and your dad 69ing. Just like sore necks and clenched jaws. <laughs> 